Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fugit Blitz. Ah, uh, Battle Pass. You know, I wasn't going to do this video. And the reason I wasn't going to do this video is pretty straightforward. I am not an official CC. I do not get information from Wargaming other than what you get. I get it the same way you do. In other words, I get it from the videos and I get it from notifications on Discord and stuff like that. But I've seen a few videos on this battle pass thing and they've made me scratch my head because, as I said, I don't know much about it. Now, the way I viewed this is, well, it's, it's basically an event with a twist. And from what I can see, it's something that Wargaming are going to be experimenting with. Because they mention on their Discord it's their first venture into battle pass. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with the concept of Battle Pass, basically it's a type of monetization that allows for additional content in a game via a tiered system, rewarding the player with in-game goods, basically. And that appears to be the situation here. I mean, this is a clip that of a video that Meadsy posted, which shows this Battle Pass Operation Onslaught timeline a little bit better. And as you can see, you've got a regular pass and a premium pass. And the chances are you've got to buy the premium pass. So everything on the regular pass, which is in the grey at the top, is going to be for free. You know, you're going to play the game and you get those things for free. If you pay that money, whichever that money is, and I don't know, it could be anything from $10 to $100, who knows? Then you get these additional things. Now, no one's saying that you've got to buy the premium pass. It's, it's up to you. If you don't want to buy the premium pass, don't. It's no different to you buying a premium account. If you buy a premium account, you get more XP and you get more credits. If you don't buy a premium account, you get standard XP and standard credits. Nobody forces you to do this thing. If you do buy the premium, then as you can see, you get a lot more stuff. Straightforward, really. Now, you have missions to do, on probably on top of the missions you already get. I don't know. I am, I'm, I, I'm absolutely unaware of what the concept is. But it looks to me similar to like those events. You know, you, you, you go ahead, you get XP or whatever, and the more you progress, the more you get. And the chances are you can get a tank. You can get the Coventer, which is a collectible, which I've already got, so I'll probably get it for gold. And eventually you'll get the KV-1S, which is not called the KV-1S, it's actually called the Thunder, um, which is basically a KV-1S with a different skin. Now, it's up to you if you want to pay your money and, and do this Battle Pass thing. And, you know, if it's not an exorbitant amount of money, then what's the problem? If it is an exorbitant amount of money, then don't do it. Simple, really. It's, it's that straightforward. Now, I have seen a lot of people saying that, oh, this is the first foot in the pay-to-win camp. Is it bollocks? Guys, this is not pay-to-win. This is, this is basically pay for additional content. Simple fact. And not being funny, since day one of the game, you've been paying for additional content if you choose to take that offer, which is premium time. If you choose to buy your premium time, you get additional XP and additional credits. Simple. This is no different. This is just giving you more stuff in the form of gold, credits, boosters, and what have you. It's clearly Wargaming's first venture into the Battle Pass concept. And I don't see any reason for alarm here. I, I really don't. Um, it's it's an event but it's not an event it's a choice they're offering it free and they're offering it for payment so and i don't know if that's real cash i don't know if it's gold i don't know what it is because i don't know all i know is that nobody is forcing you to do this and there's nowhere that i can see that you're guaranteed to win so it's not pay to win you're just guaranteed to get additional stuff Simple fact of life. With the culmination being, you can get your paws on this thing, the uh, KV-1S Thunder, or whatever it's called. What's so bad about this? I don't think anything's bad about this. 
Um, I'm looking forward to it. I won't look forward to it if you've suddenly got to pay like, you know, $1,000 to do it. But if you've got to pay $10 to do it or whatever, then I didn't see the big deal. Anyway, I don't know much about this event. I'm not on the inside track. I don't get inside and knowledge from Wargaming, so I don't know. All I can do is give you an objective view. I don't think it's a bad thing. I'm actually looking forward to it. So don't be so negative, guys. Seriously. Um, embrace it for what it is. If it's expensive, don't do it. If it's reasonable, it gives you something to do and you might get a load of additional stuff. Almost gratis. So work it out yourself. Because for ten dollars, if I'm gonna get a lot a lot of golden credits, then God I'll do it. What's the problem? Anyway, until the next time in this environment, please stay inside, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because you know that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.